What up guys, it's your boy KFlow. Today I'm going to show you how to bleed the brakes on your Toyota Tacoma by yourself. So let's get this started. The links where you can get these tools will be in the description below. You can use either a pneumatic brake bleeder or a hand pumped brake bleeder. Now both of these bleeders pretty much have the same function, which is to suck lots of fluid. Just like your mom. Oh! To set up the pneumatic brake bleeder, all you have to do is hook it up to a compressed airline and pull the trigger. This will create suction at the suction hose. You will need a pretty large air compressor to use this, at least 21 gallons because this thing uses up a lot of air in such a short amount of time. Setting up the manual one is pretty easy. Make sure that the short straw inside the reservoir is on the same side away from the pump. And then we take our two long hoses. One hose is connected from the reservoir to the pump and the other one is connected to the fitting that attaches to the bleeder. This thing builds vacuum pressure by continuously pumping the trigger. Now let's get to the truck. So the first thing we do is chalk the truck, jack the front, and put her on jack stands. Now we can remove the front wheels using a 22 millimeter socket. Next, we find the bleeder valve on the caliper really close to the top of the caliper, which you see here. Now we can remove the bleeder dust cap. Loosen the bleeder with a closed end of a 10 millimeter wrench. Always use the closed end of the wrench because the bleeder is typically made of a soft metal and you don't want to round them. Now we apply suction using our specialty tools and we continue opening the bleeder using the open end of the wrench until the brake fluid flows freely through the hose. The tool might fill with brake fluid, so you might have to continuously empty the tool until the brake fluid comes out clean. Keep an eye on the brake fluid reservoir and make sure you refill it continuously so you're not sucking up air. And once finished, close the bleed valve while still applying suction. Then fork down the bleed valve with the closed end of the wrench and only keep it hand tight. You don't want to over torque this then reinstall the dust cover. Real quick guys, if you like the content creation of this channel, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and share button for me because it does help me out and helps the content creation of this channel. Now to get back to the truck, the rear brake drums and the clutch are pretty much bled the same exact way. You can find the brake bleeders for the rear drum brakes here. If you have a manual transmission, you can find the bleeder for the clutch right in between the propeller shaft and the transmission which you see here. Once we're all done, we could reinstall the wheel using a 22mm socket and torque down those wheels to 85 foot-pounds so that we can jack down the truck. To wrap up this video guys, the brakes have to be bled in proper sequence. You have to start out with the passenger rear and work with the driver rear and then the front passenger side, and then the front driver side. And if you have a manual transmission, then you do the clutch last. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Make sure you check out my website, kflow-crib.com, because I have a lot of free contents to share with you so that it helps you out with the maintenance of your truck. So until next time, guys, peace out.